Hi guys, uh, my name is Brendan Moore. My name is Sola Chapel. My name is Heather McClelland. Hi, my name is Olivia Anbrado. Hi, my name is Chantal Zama. My name is Sandy Gilbert. I'm Julie Lowe. Simon Wong. It's Heather Martin. Kate McKenzie. Thomas Bowie. My name is Damien Delgado and I've been nominated for Tweed Sports Person of the Year. I was at the local club at Cabarita and the greenkeeper sort of just said, you know, you can get a wheelchair for bowls to get on the green and I just went from there. This year, they are lucky enough to win the world title here on the Gold Coast, the first time the Paras have been included. I think we're one of the longest running festivals in yeah. Australia. Yeah. Quite incredible given that there are other festivals that have, or Stedfords that have fallen over. In Wollumbar, we're still managing to run a very successful festival every year. So we're really proud of that. We do an immersive dinner theatre production at Flutterby's Cottage Cafe. What this brings is an opportunity for locals and also visitors to the area, not just have the chance to go to a theme night where they can dress up, but also to experience something very different. A very big part of what I do is, is passing on knowledge and, and watching the kids you're working with improve. To me, I guess to any coach, that's extremely important and it's very rewarding. Since I arrived in UK, I've been a therapist and arising out of that work, I um, published a book and the person nominating me for this award told me that was why she was nominating me because that book had such a profound influence on her life and her well-being. In 2014, a group of us were wondering what we could do about the cruel policies about refugees in liaison with a group up there. We are able to set up UK Refugee Project, which has been going ever since. In our first competition, we only um, took down seven, eight girls. And despite all that, we still came a place with a medal. We are undefeated in Wollongong and end up winning the grand final. I started this Fingal Head Coast Care and I've been working here for 37 years, looking after the forests and dunes at Fingal. And we're doing that for everybody. This all started when the floods happened on 28th of February. And just looked at the devastation and decided to have a sausage sizzle. I had a ute, they needed help, and that's where it all started. We've been doing deliveries ever since. Yeah, I just feel really honoured to be able to help out the community and if I was to win it, it would be nice, but um, not, it's definitely not why I do it. Uh, just being able to help the community as much as I can, that's the uh, rewarding part. I got into disability work again because I like being part of the community. I like to be able to help people in their daily lives. And the community here is fantastic, both disability and with the Fire Brigade. It's a real close network, just great people doing great things and it's great to be part of. 